All right, today on Jake Belds the House, we're dealing with the Genie Lift. The Genie Lift has been giving me a little bit of trouble. What's been happening is it's been very cold blooded. And uh, in the mornings, this little feller, it'll start the motor, no problem. It's got a gas motor, so I have no problems getting it running. Just choke it, run with choke on a little while. And the engine warms right up. No problem there. It's the hydraulic functions I'm having a problem with. So when it's cold out, um, for example, today it's only, it's not that cold. It's 27 degrees out. Um, but this guy, I fired it up, let it idle on low idle for 20 minutes. Uh, and after 20 minutes on low idle, it still wouldn't lift. It was still too cold to lift. And that is even with it plugged in all night. So uh, I got it set up so it's always plugged in when it's not running. There's the pigtail. And uh, it's plugged in with a trickle charge for the battery. Little genius trickle charger. Um, but it also has on it, on the hydraulic tank, I have a... Kate's heater on here, magnet heater that I've had for a long time. These things are great because um, it can be moved around to whatever machine is giving me grief. But uh, this is not a very big one. This is just a 200 watt heater. And I've had that on the hydraulic tank. It was on the hydraulic tank all night. It has foil faced rigid foam. A couple pieces of that stuffed in here around the tank. So it already had a little bit of an advantage to get started. But even with it plugged in all night with the electric magnet heater, the insulation, and a warm-up cycle, it still wouldn't lift. Um, and this has been the problem. It will drive almost immediately, but the steer wheels, the front steer wheels, won't turn immediately. Just the rear ones will turn. And it'll just kind of slide the front ones until it gets warm. Um, so, um, I haven't had this very long, and I haven't serviced it since I bought it. So, I'm assuming it has just too heavy of oil in it. Or, hopefully, maybe just filters clog. So, I'm going to take it in today. I'm going to change all the hydraulic oil into it. I'm going to go to a 32 weight. Um, now, this requires a, a recon multi-viscosity fluid that I can't find. I don't think it's being manufactured anymore because um, this is an older lift. But I called my local Genie rental place and talked to their service guy and I'm using the oil that he recommended. That oil is the 85905 Napa oil. Uh, it's a 32 weight oil, um, which is a good winter weight, I think. That's what I use in my like little excavator. Um, is 32 and in the log splitter. Um, larger machines are usually run the 46, like skid steer, uh, the large excavator, they run 46 weight oil. Um, so I'm going to put 32 weight in oil in this with a new filter and hopefully that solves my problem. Um, I want to do it inside so I can thaw this machine out, but this guy won't fit into my shop door right here, this tilt up shop door. So the first order of business is to tilt down the rack on this thing. All right, it's in the shop and it's blocked up on some timbers. Get it off the ground so I can get under it. And I uh, already ran into the first problem, which is the drain port for the tank does not line up with the hole in the frame. So uh, the tank's going to have to get moved out. And it's bolted in by two bolts. A bolt right here, which I can't get to with the scissor lift down. And one that goes right here. So I'm going to try to get in here. Undo that bolt, move that tank forward so it lines up with the hole better. Uh, 
All right. Now it's time to pull that plug and drain that fluid out. Um, it's a hex or an Allen wrench, and it's a 5 sixteenths. Well, that was kind of messy. I should have slid the bucket under there, but I, uh, I thought this way would look better on the video, but it was, it was kind of messy, and I should have just went right into the bucket. Um, but it's all drained out, and it looks like we have about 5, 10, 15, maybe 18 gallons. So it was supposed to have 17 in it. Um, as it was coming down, it looked pretty clear and clean, but now that I'm looking at it in the buckets, um, it does look pretty old, pretty dark for hydraulic fluid. So I'm glad I'm changing it. Next thing up is the filter. Uh, so let's get this filter off here and get it changed. And that Napa number for the hydraulic filter is the Napa Gold 1628. All right, I got the plug back in um, and the filter's on, so it's ready to fill it back up. And uh, then uh, shove this guy outside and let her get nice and cold over the night. And hopefully tomorrow when we fire it up, it'll work in the cold. And I'll know whether it was a oil weight problem or a clogged filter problem. So uh, I'll show you that tomorrow. All right, it's the next morning. This genie's been sitting outside all night long. It's about 19 degrees out here. So I'm going to see if this thing will start right up in the cold or not, and then see how long it takes for the hydraulics to function, because that's that's the whole reason I got into the oil change on this is it just wouldn't operate when it was real cold out. So, alrighty. Uh, grab the control box up there. Green light says go. Choke. Trying to start. There she goes. All right, it's not going up right away, but it is walking right away, which is still an improvement over before. So I'm going to let it sit and warm up here, maybe give it uh, 10 minutes to idle warm, and then uh, give it a try. Alright, that machine's been idling now for uh, about 10 minutes. There she is. So let's see. Let's see if it warmed up and if it's going to operate or if it's still being super cold-blooded like it was with the other fluid. That seems to have worked so uh, I'm gonna guess that it had 46 weight in it before and it just wasn't gonna run in the cold and now with the 32 weight it does seem like it's gonna work it did still require a 15 minute warm-up cycle to get going uh, 
and it's only about 19 degrees out and it's still November so I don't know how this lift is going to operate for me uh, in another month but uh, I will know in another month in the meantime if you're interested in my genie I'll try to make some more videos on it I also have my mini Chinese excavator videos some travel videos and I'm out here building a house pretty much by myself so if you'd like to see a guy trying to build a house all by himself I'll post some videos on that and the adventures I have with the building and my machines and in the meantime please please go ahead and subscribe to the channel um, so uh, subscriptions just encourage me to keep making more videos and hopefully uh, you guys found this helpful.